Hi, welcome, welcome back to RAC, where we talk all things audio production and sound. Today, we are starting our series on music theory and music principles and doing a deep dive into exploring fundamental frequencies, harmonics, and overtones. I'm Dariana Everett. I'm a singer, songwriter, producer, and RAC graduate. Let's go. In the realm of audio engineering, a thorough understanding of frequency fundamentals, harmonics, and overtones is so helpful for achieving a high quality sound production. Frequencies are the building blocks of sound, with each frequency corresponding to a specific pitch. Harmonics are multiples of the fundamental frequency that give each sound its unique sonic timbre, while overtones are additional frequencies that resonate alongside the fundamental enriching the sound. In this video, we will delve into the technical details of these concepts, providing comprehensive explanations, relevant calculations, and practical examples to help audio engineers master these fundamental principles. Fundamental frequency. Frequency is defined as the number of cycles per second of a sound wave and is measured in hertz. The fundamental frequency is the lowest frequency of a sound wave determining its pitch. For example, the fundamental frequency of the note A4 on a piano is 440 hertz. Understanding fundamental frequency is crucial for tuning instruments, mixing tracks, and creating harmonious soundscapes. Harmonics. Harmonics are integer multiples of the fundamental frequency, adding complexity and richness to the sound. Meaning, harmonics are the multiples of the fundamental frequency present in the sound wave. When a musical instrument produces a tone, it generates not only the fundamental frequency, but a series of harmonics that give the sound its unique timbre. For example, if the fundamental frequency of a sound is 100 Hz, the second harmonic would be 200 Hz, the third harmonic would be 300 Hz, and so on. It is important to note that with harmonics, the fundamental frequency is considered the first harmonic. Understanding harmonics is essential for music producers to create rich and complex sounds by manipulating the different levels of harmonics in a recording. Overtones. Overtones are similar to harmonics but differ as they are not necessarily whole number multiples of the fundamental frequency, meaning overtones are frequencies that resonate alongside the fundamental, also contributing to its unique timbre. Overtones contribute to the overall timbre and quality of a sound, providing depth and character. By analyzing and controlling overtones, audio engineers can shape the tonal characteristics of a recording, helping achieve a desired sound aesthetic. Audio engineers utilize harmonics and overtones to shape the tonal quality of instruments, vocals, and even entire mixes. Be sure to check out our other videos on saturation or harmonic saturation to see how you can use harmonics to adjust your sound. Calculating harmonics and overtones. Calculating harmonics involves multiplying the fundamental frequency by integers, while overtones are typically calculated using complex Fourier analysis. This can be seen as relatively advanced mathematics. However, I'll include some helpful links down below that are helpful resources. All right, so to calculate harmonics, one can use the formula Fn equals n times F1, where Fn represents the frequency of the nth harmonic. N is the harmonic number and F1 is the fundamental frequency. Let's say our fundamental is 100 hertz and we want to find out what the third harmonic is. So we would do N, so three times F1, which is 100, which would give us 300. So Fn would equal 300. Does that make sense? We can do this for all of the different harmonics. You can go on and on and on and on because simply harmonics are whole multiples of the fundamental frequency. Okay, so let's do an example. Let's say we have a fundamental frequency of 100 Hertz, keeping it super simple. And we wanna figure out what the fifth harmonic is. We will then take N, so five times F1, 100 Hertz, which equals Fn or 500 hertz. And there we find out what the fifth harmonic is, which is 500 hertz. You can try it on any harmonic and it's pretty simple. By understanding these calculations and their implications, music producers can fine tune the harmonic content of a sound to create unique textures and sonic profiles in their production. Here are some practical applications. Audio engineers leverage their knowledge of fundamental frequencies, harmonics, and overtones to fine tune equalization, compression, and effects processing in audio production. 
perfection. By understanding the relationship between these elements, engineers can sculpt sound with precision, create dynamic mixes, and evoke emotional responses from the listeners. Moreover, mastering the intricacies of frequency manipulation allows engineers to troubleshoot audio issues, enhance clarity, and optimize the overall sonic experience. In essence, a solid grasp of frequency fundamentals is indispensable for an aspiring audio engineer to excel in the very competitive world of sound. In conclusion, fundamental frequencies, harmonics, and overtones are foundational principles in audio engineering that greatly impact the quality of sound production. By mastering these concepts and utilizing them effectively. Audio engineers can elevate their work to new heights of excellence. Well, that's it for this video. I hope this helped with bringing some clarity into the magical world of frequencies. If you like this video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. We come out with new content every week, and be sure to check out all of our other videos we have up. I'll see you in the next one.